gorgeous besties and welcome to today's video. I thought we'd do a little autumn vlog. I really want to get more into the autumn kind of spirit, do some autumn activities and I thought we could do that together. As you saw this morning I was reading, I'm actually currently reading Frankenstein which is one of the first classics that I've ever read that's not for school. <laughs> or for college or anything like that. I actually did English Lit at college. So anything that wasn't for school or for college is the first classic that I've actually picked up on my own accord in a way. And how am I finding it so far? It's kind of hard to get used to, which is to be expected, I think. I just think naturally the way a lot of classics are written don't naturally compute in my head. Like it feels like effort to read them. This is split into three volumes and it's not actually as thick as it looks because there's quite a long introduction, which I didn't read. <laughs> and also there's lots of stuff afterwards so it's actually only about a 220 page book which isn't long at all but because of the writing style it takes me a lot longer to read one page than it does books that I'm used to reading but I finished volume one it's split up into three volumes so I'm about a third of the way through it's weird because I feel like a lot of the writing is very very long-winded but then the plot is really fast paced. It's like everything but the plot is so long winded and takes up the most of the book. The actual plot happens in like one paragraph and I'm like oh okay that's that's quite drastic and that's just happened. So it's interesting because it's obviously very different to what I'm used to reading. I really wanted to read this before this Christmas because basically me and my family have a Christmas Eve tradition. It's basically like Secret Santa but it's just books so we get one person in secret that we have to buy a book for and this was actually the book that I received from my brother and I really wanted to read it before this Christmas Eve just because I feel like it's nice to have read the one from last year <laughs> before we get our next one and I saved it for October just because I thought is a gothic tale kind of vibe. World's most famous work of horror fiction, which I thought would just be perfect for spooky season, for the October vibes. So that's why I'm reading it this month. And I have been wanting to get more into classics. I have a few others that are kind of on my radar. The main two are Pride and Prejudice because I can't actually believe that I've never read that book. And also Wuthering Heights, which I think is also in Yorkshire and I'm from Yorkshire. So that makes me really happy. <laughs> and I feel like I just need to read that book. They're the kind of two main ones, but I do feel like it takes so much brain work for me at the minute. I guess it will get easier with the more classics that I read, hopefully. I don't know. But they're the two others that are very much on my radar. What was the book that I read before Frankenstein? I read The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore by Laura Gilmore, which, let me get it. Which, first of all, this cover, so cute, drastically different from Frankenstein. <laughs> But this was the book that I read before. I saw it in the works and I was like, that is so cute, that cover. And I think these make really good kind of palette cleanser books. Just because they're so easy to read and you just kind of know what you're getting with this type of romance, I feel like. And they're just a bit of fun. And I loved that in this one, they put a map in because I don't think they had that in Pumpkin Spice Cafe. And I was literally obsessed with this because this is so small town vibes. But the thing that I noticed was there was a scene where the main girl was waiting outside the pub for him to walk her home and they walked home together and it described passing certain stores in a certain order and the order that that was done in didn't match up to the map. <laughs> Which I had to reread it so many times because I was like, surely I'm just not understanding right. Like surely it can't be wrong. But I think it was, which makes me sad, but I'm so here for the map. I'm so here for it. This was really cute. I will say, not an autumn read, <laughs> despite the cover, because I'm sorry, look at the colour of this tree, look at the leaves. This is very much giving cosy autumn vibe, but it's set in summer. <laughs> the last little bit of the book is the end of summer and the start of autumn, but the majority of this book is set in summer and it's about her trying to make the most of her summer and having a summer of fun, which really threw me off because I was so expecting this to be a little cutesy autumn read, very similar to the Pumpkin Spice Cafe because this one is set in autumn, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So that really threw me off. But 
The Christmas Tree Farm, which is the third one in the series, has an absolutely gorgeous cover. So cosy, so Christmassy. And that one comes out so soon and I really want to go and get it. I really do. Because these are those types of books where I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't think about them again, but they're just perfect if you just need something easy and fun and just lightweight. That's the vibe these books give me. They're the kind of books that like three star books. They're just solid, but not the most memorable. The characters I like while I'm reading them but I probably won't think about them afterwards. And they're just fun. They're just fun. So I definitely do want to get the Christmas one because they're some of my favorite types of books to read at Christmas as well. And I feel like that one's gonna be really fun. I'm excited for it. Anyway, I don't know why I'm just rambling about books. I mean, that's literally what I do every day of my life. <laughs> I have literally been filming all morning and I do want to edit a couple of those videos this afternoon but then I thought we'd do some autumn activities. I have a really cute colouring book which you've probably seen in some of my reading vlogs because I've been listening to audiobooks and colouring at the same time and it's literally my new favourite hobby. And I also thought maybe we could watch a film together. We're just gonna have a cute cosy autumn time and I can't wait but I'm so excited. Autumn and winter are my favourite seasons and just October onwards is literally my favourite time of year so I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Christmas, don't even get me started on Christmas. I'm not gonna lie, I was literally, <laughs> I was literally watching Christmas films at the start of October. Don't, I know, I know it's bad. I usually say October is like dedicated to everything Halloween-y. This is partly why I need to get more into the autumn kind of spirit because I was literally editing my videos and I had Christmas movies on in the background. There's there's a specific channel that just plays like Hallmark Christmas films and I have been loving it. I have been absolutely loving every single second of it. I feel like it might be time to get more into the autumn spirit. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. some colouring together. I am obsessed with colouring and I just feel like it's such an autumn activity. I don't know why. I also have like a summer colouring book so I don't really know why I feel like that but I feel like I do most of it in autumn winter time. I recently bought these. They are so cute. I'm literally obsessed. I have this one which is like a general cosy vibe one. How cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> I literally love it. There's just so many cute Cozy ones to do. This is one of my favourite ones that I've done so far. But I also have the Spooky Vibes one, which I wanted to do this month because it's all like Halloween themed and it's got like ghosts and witchy stuff. It's just very much giving Halloween vibes. Like look at these ghosts having a little tea party. That is adorable. That is actually adorable. I don't really know what I'm going to do for the ghosts because they're technically just white. <laughs> so I can't really colour them in, but maybe we have colourful ghosts or we can put them in like jumpers <laughs> and little outfits and colour the outfits in. But I think this is so cute. I'm definitely gonna be starting this book soon because I think it's perfect for October. But I think for now, there's a picture in here that I started a couple of days ago and I didn't actually have time to finish. Here it is. <gasps> How autumn vibes is that? I think that's so cute. But I didn't actually have time to finish it. So I think I might finish that one now. I say that and I get so distracted by all the other ones. Oh, there's Christmas ones in here as well. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna do some coloring. I also wanted to watch a film at the same time. I'm thinking maybe one of like the classic rom-com films, something like When Harry Met Sally or 10 Things I Hate About You because I absolutely love that film, but I feel like I haven't seen it in so long. There's also, I think it's a new film or it might be a new series that's come out that I keep seeing everybody raving about. And I know that it has Kristen Bell in. I can't remember what it's called, but I might put that one on. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. It's called Nobody Wants This. And it's a series with Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. So I might put that one on. I don't know if that's necessarily giving autumn vibes, but I think it's been released recently. 
What else is there? Love is Blind, season seven. I feel like that's such a good show to have on in the background as well. The Platform 2, I really liked the first, The Platform. I just think the whole concept of it is fascinating and it's kind of dark and twisted but the whole alternate reality of a prison type thing is just so fascinating to me <laughs> there's the other woman there's how to lose a guy in 10 days okay that's definitely potential i really want to watch beetlejuice at some point as well but i think that will be like on closer to halloween probably notting hill i love the film i love that film what else is giving autumn vibes i don't really have netflix had divergent on here that might have to be a rewatch soon because i love that film four i was obsessed with four in the books but theo james playing four don't get me started literally don't get me started <laughs> bridget jones diary is that more of a winter film because I feel like a lot of it is in the run up to Christmas, right? I might save that one. There's so many good films on here. This is 40 is such a good film. That film is so funny. So funny. I feel like I've made it to like the Christmas films because we've got like holiday here. I think I might go for Notting Hill. It's been so long since I've seen that film and it's one of my favourite films. So I feel like we're going to do this one. Okay. <laughs> literally <laughs> two in the morning you can't see that <laughs> it's two in the morning right now if there's one thing about me it's that i am 100 percent a night owl i don't know what it is i feel like i've always been like this i just will literally go to bed at like 2 a.m 3 a.m <laughs> and this is actually the time of day that i get most of my reading done as well as you know i'm reading frankenstein i will say that this one takes a lot of brain power <laughs> to the point where I kind of feel like I should start another book alongside this. Why is that such a jump scare literally every time I lift that up? <laughs> but I feel like it would have been a good idea to start another one at the same time as this, just so when it gets to later on, when my brain's more tired, I can read something else that doesn't require as much concentration as this one does. I'm just over halfway through. I actually went into the story not really knowing much about it. Uh, the only thing that I can think that I know about Frankenstein in general is that one Wizards Away to the Place episode <laughs> where Justin makes his own monster and it like follows him around the school. <laughs> Does anyone else remember that episode? Because I was obsessed with Wizards Away to the Place and I feel like that was my only real knowledge of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, <laughs> which is so random. But I actually went into this not really knowing that much about it and like what the actual story was but it's kind of surprised me the i'm currently in the middle of volume two and i feel so bad for the monster i feel so bad for him it basically follows him out in the world and he's kind of got lost doesn't really know where he's going doesn't really know what the world is like and every village that he goes into because he's so big and he's scary looking and he looks like a monster all the villagers like scream and run away from him all the time and it makes me feel really bad for him to the point where it made him feel really bad and then he went out into the woods and like lived there for a bit and then he found a little cottage which had an old man and a sister and a brother that lived there and he found this heart that was basically overlooking the cottage and he just spent days and days just watching them and observing them and how they interact with each other and he's learning things from them like he's learning how to speak he's learning how to read and they don't even know that he's there he's just watching them and wishing that he could be friends with them and he literally just wants to be loved <laughs> and 
it's so sad it's literally so sad and then he was also learning what jobs they do like the sister would stay indoors and do like the house jobs and then the brother would go out and like collect firewood and then he realized that when it was really cold because it was in winter the brother really struggled to get as much wood as they needed to keep the fire going so then he went out of his way to then chop woods during the night so then it would be ready for the brother and sister in the morning and all the wood was just piled up there and they were like where has this come from <laughs> And he doesn't want to approach them to be friends because he can't speak properly and he knows that when they see him they'll probably be really scared and he wants to be able to like communicate the fact that he's not actually scary he just wants a friend <laughs> that was so cute i can't i can't deal <laughs> i literally can't i do really need to go to bed in i actually wanted to read the whole volume two today but i don't think I'm gonna manage that. I'm on page 128. I think it's to page like 150. Even though that's like 20 pages. 20 pages in this book feels like a lot longer than that just because like I was talking about before the language is just not coming naturally to me. So I think I'll probably save that to read tomorrow but I actually don't have that much left. I think I have like 90-ish pages left altogether. So it's going okay. It's going okay. I just feel so sad for him right <laughs> now. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. I'll probably watch an episode of Both Burgers before I go to bed, which is literally what I do every night. I love that show. If you need a good comfort show and you and you like cartoon animated shows, Bob's Burgers is my favourite show and it brings me so much happiness. <laughs> I can't even explain. I just absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure the new season is airing, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited. I just love that show. So I'll probably watch an episode before I go to sleep. But they're my plans. <laughs> I also, this is really random, but I love jelly cats. I absolutely love them. And I have a radiator right next to my bed and it's covered in jelly cats, <laughs> which you've probably seen in the background of some of my videos. But I actually changed some of them out for more autumn-y halloween -y ones and i'm so happy with them i love them how cute <laughs> i love this pumpkin i love him and i have my little bat that's not actually a jelly cat i actually bought that when i went on holiday one time in a little gift shop um but the snail and the two eggs i also have the little devil egg <laughs> But I just think it looks so cute and a lot more old to me than it did before. <laughs> I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my chapter and go to bed and I will see you in the morning. Some years before they were wealthy and distinguished in Paris, France. But the family that was ruined by sex suffers an unjust punishment. The loss of all human companionship and comfort. In addition, all are outsiders. Merchant because of this I literally feel like I've just taken an English lit class. <laughs> it's too late for this. <laughs> Hello, it's actually the next day and I'm going to end this video here because I really want to get it up soon for you guys. But I'm going to be doing something very similar for Halloween and getting ready for Halloween. So stay tuned for that and thank you so so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with me for a very autumn vibe day. I really really hope that you enjoyed watching. Please let me know if you did and I will hopefully See you in my next video.